A massive operation today at the 7th Street Bridge in Kansas City, Kansas. Firefighters, sheriff deputies, and tow truck workers pulled several cars out of the Kansas River. Sayed Shabir tells us how they got the cars out. A pretty elaborate setup that they have here on the 7th Street Bridge. First off, the KDOT crews have closed off one lane on the bridge. Then they have some uh, fire department rescue crews as well as Wyandotte County Sheriff crews on the shoreline trying to attach the cables to the cars. Then they, of course, have the tow truck drivers here on the bridge hoisting the cars up to the top of the bridge. But they did face several challenges today in trying to get this operation complete. The first was the icy river conditions. It took them a lot longer just to get to these cars because of the large ice buildup in the Kansas River. Then when they were trying to pull the first car out, it actually got tangled up with a large tree limb. Uh, that delayed the uh, operation uh, significantly. But I talked to some of the organizers here and they tell me that this is a good opportunity to get in some cold weather training. It's a big safety concern. Uh, we have to monitor everyone, you know, and that, but that's why the EMS is here, fire department, they, they train for this. And we can't predict when a worst case scenario situation might happen, so they need to train in this type of weather as well. Now the tow truck operators will be hoisting these cars 75 feet up to the top of the bridge and then eventually removing them here. One of the cars, I'm told, was reported stolen back in 1994, so some of these cars have been in there as many as 20 years. In Kansas City, Kansas, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.